Okay, hello and welcome to Demo Den. This is a monthly look into what's shipped in Jira Software Cloud from the makers of Jira. My name is Bernie Ferguson and I'm your host today and I'm going to be joined by Nathan from the product management team in Jira. Um, don't forget after this video to jump onto the uh, Lassen community. You can mention Nathan and he'll respond to your requests yep. there. Um, but Nathan, let's jump into it, mate. What do you have for us to demo today? Yeah, so I want to demo some of the differences between uh, Classic and the new next-gen project experience that we've been building out. Yeah, I've got a Classic project I created before. So I'm just going to go through and we're going to go to the global settings. I'm going to click on issues, click on issue type. Then we need to create a new issue type. So I'm just going to call it my issue type. It's going to edit. Now in Classic, we need to go back and we need to edit that. We need to give it an image. So I'll select an image, save it. Now we need to go to the issue type scheme and we need to associate that new issue type with our uh, project. Okay. So we're going to do that now and drag it across, save yep. it. So now we need to then create the custom field. So we're going to do that. So we add custom field. I'll select the field type, we're just going to say like a text field. And then we're going to call it my field. And now we need to associate it with the screen. And save it. Now we need to go back and then we need to configure the field. Uh, we need to associate it with our issue type. So we'll find the issue type that we created before and our project, so demo classic. We just save it and now finally we're going to be able to give it a default value. Okay. So I'll just say my value. Right. So there is a fair bit of friction in this process to set this up. Yeah, correct. Um, there is a lot of steps that you need to go through and you need to jump around different parts of the, of the uh, uh, global settings, which may not kind of be that apparent when you're yep. a new user. It can be uh, yeah, quite difficult. So if we look at the comparison uh, next gen project, we're going to go to project settings, create an issue type, call it my issue type. We're going to give it an icon so it's all within the same part of the UI. Now we've got an issue type here, we're going to drag across a text field, call it my field, give it a default value, save it, and that's the same thing done in a quarter of the time. Yeah, right. Brilliant. All right, well, thank you very much for that, Nathan. Now it's time for my favorite segment of the month, which is our spicy question segment. So this is the top voted question from uh, UI users through community and other, other mechanisms. So we really appreciate you sending over that feedback. Now this month, I think we've got one which is at the flaming end of the spicy meter. Basically, most things that make Jira, Jira, not Trello, uh, things like subtasks and shortcuts and workflows and the page project setting, mm -hmm. they're either gone or on the roadmap. So, are we making Jira just like Trello? So, no, we're not making Jira like Trello. We really, really love Trello. It's a great um, product, but all the power that you have in Jira today, you should expect that in next gen. But the way in which we think about and discuss it internally is we don't want to reach feature parity. We don't just want to bring things across. We really want to rethink that experience and make sure that, uh, as we refer to it, give you feature depth. So you should be able to do the same things, but it may just be in a much more simpler way. That's the whole aim of next gen, to simplify that experience. But yes, expect, expect that power. Like we know what makes Jira Jira. You'll have workflows, you'll have the ability to set custom roles, you have subtasks. All these things, they're definitely in. So they're things that Trello don't have. Yep, okay, awesome. And we couldn't do that without feedback, right? Because once we ship these things, get your feedback, and then we continue to build on that experience. Yeah, so please give us feedback. Um, you'll see an in-product feedback collector. This actually goes to all the teams that work on next-gen projects. We all look at this, we do sentiment analysis. It helps us um, prioritize our roadmap. I'll also ping different people where we're looking at a particular feature and, and, and speak to them and, and find out what their needs are and if we're meeting them. All right, well that's all we've got for Demo Den this month. Uh, jump onto the community, there's a link for you there to, uh, to continue sending over that feedback, which is really valuable. And uh, we'll see you again next month, thank you. Um, do you. Just first question before we get started, is, is that the jumper they give you when you start? Uh, just kind of appeared at my desk. Okay. So.
the difference between doing a certain bunch of features. Oh. Let's cut. I'll f*** <laughs> that up too. Don't worry. Yeah.